Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing the book design tag, which I was tagged in by Dominish Books. I'll link his video down below. He showed off some very beautiful books, and I figured this would be a fun tag to do and, and show off some of my favorite books or books that I just find to be very beautiful. Uh, it's always fun just showing off the, the pretty books you have, seeing other people's. So this is definitely a fun one to do. Um, with that, let's get into it. So the first prompt is a book you brought up primarily or completely because of the cover. Now I've uh, definitely fallen victim to uh, many a cover buy uh, and I've talked about some others, but the most recent one that 100% was for the cover, don't know, didn't know anything about it at the time, is The Unspoken Name by A.K. Larkwood. And this book, I don't know fully what it is, it's just very aesthetically pleasing. You have like the, the horn with the gold and like the flecks of like light from ashes or embers or whatever we have going on here. Uh, just something about it is just very eye-catching and pleasing to the eye. So when I, I came across this one, I definitely bought it. Uh, and it's the main character, it's C-S-O-R-W-E, and I have no idea how to pronounce that whatsoever. So this will be fun when I eventually review. Uh, but she's like a priestess who's supposed to be sacrificed. And then at the last second, like a, a mage comes and offers her a way out. And so she becomes a thief and or assassin and apparently traitor, according to the, the top here. Uh, but either way, uh, this is just a beautiful cover. Uh, this falls into the camp of books that I might actually even keep, even if I don't like. Uh, just because it's such a beautiful cover. I really enjoy it. All right, prompt number two is a book you want to buy that has a beautiful cover. Uh, this is another one too, where the, the one that immediately came to mind is The Dragon Mage by M.L. Spencer, because I've seen some people get this thing, and it's this huge book, and look, I mean, whenever you got like these great epic scenes with dragons, I am pretty sold. So this one is definitely on the old wish list uh, of just books that I, I definitely want to get at some point. I've been trying not to because um, I buy too many books as it is. So I at least always make myself feel better when I mostly buy like used or like cheaper books. And so uh, that's definitely on the list. I will absolutely get it at some point. Uh, but man, I just, I love that cover too. It's a really fantastic cover. All right, prompt three is your favorite series design. And this one was a little tough because there are definitely plenty of series uh, that I could have picked. Uh, and I, I tried to make sure that I wasn't repeating anything uh, and keeping it close. What I ended up going with though, and I feel like this might be somewhat obvious, but is the Stormlight Archive. And I have Rhythm of War here, which was one of my favorite of the designs. I feel like they got better and better, but it's not even just the, like the series, like the books themselves, but like the art inside is beautiful. I mean, even if you even take off the dust jacket, which there's a question about that later, but you get this full color map inside the dust jacket with the symbols. There's just a lot of care that goes into these books. Uh, and I mean, like these books fit a ton of the prompts uh, that's a, that are actually in this tag because of the fact that they're just beautiful. They have beautiful dust jackets uh, and the end pages, everything. There's so much to them. And honestly, I, I quite love the books. I've got the other ones behind me as well, and I really enjoy those. But Rhythm of War was definitely my favorite. I just feel like they've gotten better and better with the art. So I love the design of the Stormlight Archive. Uh, next up is number four is Dust Jacket, a book with a beautiful dust jacket or something unexpected under the jacket. So like I said, could have easily used that. And I do, I love a lot of the, the Wheel of Time uh, artwork as well uh, with it. But what I went is with a book I recently got uh, I haven't actually done a haul video for this behemoth yet, but that is the entire Chronicles of Earthsea. Um, we've got this nice art on the front. There's some on the back too that's harder to see, um, but the dust jacket is very nice. And then inside of the dust jacket, we've got bigger versions of the art. My one complaint is that unfortunately, the back is just the same thing. There's nothing else on the back. So it'd be cool if there was something different there, but I really like the art. It's just eye-catching, and this is an illustrated edition as well. And gosh, this book is freaking heavy. But uh, this I was so excited to get. I saw some people buy it, and it's really expensive retail. Like, I, I'm sure if on Amazon it'd be cheaper, but it's retail priced at 60 bucks. 
and I, they had it on book outlet for like a third of that and I'm like yes and somebody posted about it in our discord and then between all this in the discord we had bought all of the remaining copies available on book outlet within like five minutes it was ridiculous so um see check the discord for book deals you could have gotten that too um but it was yeah i, I really do enjoy that book i'm putting it down because it's very heavy uh but that's got a really nice dust jacket and then the art under the dust jacket as well all right so number five is the naked hardback a gorgeous book with no dust jacket i have a lot of books uh i i could have chosen from here and i'm not gonna lie i cheated i did pick a lot of books because they were darn it naked hardbacks you cannot discount the farseer trilogy these illustrated editions each one of these is absolutely beautiful and these also have like nice uh illustrations in them and just these are some of like the nicest most like quality made books i have ever owned and i like desperately hope and also hope they don't come out with more of these because i'm gonna want all of them but each one of these is beautiful and has a different design but then of course i have to think back to uh my other uh kind of like special books like which are mostly barnes and noble editions but i mean then again my I, my video like reviewing the illustrated editions of our is by far my most viewed video it's over a thousand views now which i know it's not a ton but uh, for my videos that's quite a lot trust me um but i did do some videos uh looking at some of my barnes and noble ones as well and this the count of monte cristo this specific version i absolutely absolutely love all sides of it it is just beautiful and even for the barnes and noble edition ones this is absolutely one of my favorites uh, for their leather bounds and this one too all of the the special edition ones were not in stock on their website and so i paid like almost twice the price for this one on ebay uh but then i got lucky and another one i haven't even shown in a book haul video yet they actually restocked them and so i was able to also get jurassic park uh, and i love this naked hardback as well i do have a few others uh like the eye of the world which is not behind me uh for no reason definitely don't think about that uh <laughs> but i have some others too that are, i i really really enjoy i've got a few videos where i, I kind of looked at those uh in general so very very beautiful books all right so number six a beautiful paperback so there's less uh to choose from for paperbacks i do prefer hardbacks but i do have some nice ones but whenever i think of a beautiful book in general and i knew this book was going to at some point be uh used for this tag i think of the priory of the orange tree actually next month uh we're doing this as a buddy read in the discord so i will finally read it and see if i enjoy the book but i love this cover and i have always enjoyed this cover uh it's got that kind of hollow look with just the dragon coil around the tower with the orange it's just very very pleasing i'll put it close again so you can see a little bit better um, but I, I really enjoy that book. I hope I enjoy the book itself, but I really enjoy the art. I'm sure I mentioned that in other videos before too, but it's just a beautiful book. It just really is. All right, so number seven is a nonfiction book with a lovely cover, and I am not gonna lie here. I couldn't think of anything or find anything because I don't really have a lot of nonfiction books. Uh, so I'm cheating here, and I just grabbed some other books as a bonus. And we'll give Robin Hub a little bit more love with the uh, the Fits in the Fool trilogy uh, in the UK paperbacks because these are really, really nice as well. Um, they've all got like different color schemes. So that one with the gold, this one with the silver. And then this one that's like kind of like a copper and blue. And so I really enjoy these books. And that's my, like I said, completely cheating. I will admit it, it's completely cheating. Uh, but those are some other beautiful books that I'm going to show instead of a nonfiction book because I couldn't find one. All right, so eight is a book with great end papers. So I talked about there were a few other books that fit that bill as well, but uh, as I so coyly avoided explaining why this wasn't on the shelf because I'd forgotten, uh, you just, you know, you can't be the full color, beautiful map of the Wheel of Time. I specifically picked the Barnes & Noble one too because it also has the original cover. Uh, as an end paper as well uh, and so that is is always great i love the original cover and i actually don't have 
an original cover copy anymore because I have this one and I have the 30th. Um, and so I, yeah, I figure at least I have the image at least still in there. And granted, the the big white book, the World of Robert Dreams Wheel of Time, I think has all the covers in there too that in a bigger blown up one. So uh, I still I still get to see it if I want to look at it. And then number nine, the last question here is Spine, a book that looks just, or a book that looks just as gorgeous, spine out, as it does face forward. So what I went with here, um, and I'm sure that this has been mentioned, uh, <laughs> I think Domnish actually mentioned this too, if I recall, I could be wrong. Uh, but I went with uh, The Light King is trilogy. I, got, I grabbed the first book here, The Shadow of What Was Lost. So on the spine here, you can see basically a condensed version. And this is pretty minimalistic overall, but there's something about this that I originally walked up to it because I saw it and it looked interesting and it looked cool. And it's, it's very minimalist, but you have the, the orange circle is the highlight there. And what the heck, I'll grab. That shelf got a lot of use for this one. So then you have this one, which has the blue circle, kind of a smaller version and then uh, up front as well. So these ones, you get really, really a, a similar effect, whether or not you're looking at the spine or the cover. And I really enjoy that because there are not a ton of books, I feel like, especially anymore, that try to make the spine look interesting. Uh, it's, it's usually just either nothing or like, you know, even, you know, like the Wheel of Time books, you get to see a part of the picture, but a lot of them, you don't get to see a ton. Um, you know, if you look up Crown of Stars here, they had some stuff on some of them, but a lot of books anymore, it's just they're pretty plain. Like even, if I grab this book, uh, which is another one that could have been in this video, there's not, I mean, it's blue, but um, would that tell you that this is the lovely cover on this one? No, because it's just kind of plain blue. And you get that a lot with books. They don't really put a lot on the cover as much anymore. So uh, I can definitely appreciate a nice uh, thought coming into the spine. Granted, when it's a really thick book, you probably get to do a little bit more of that. So I suppose that is fair. It's harder to do anything like with a thinner book like the one I held up. So I will admit that. But those are the books that I chose for the book design tag. So quick at it because I realized I forgot to actually tag anybody at the end of the video. Like, you know what you do with the tag video. So super quick. I uh, will go ahead and tag Stephanie from Miss Richard Reads. I'll tag Allie from Book Binge and Evie from She Was Only Evie. So there you go. You are tagged. I'll have those channels linked in the description. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. So let me know in the comments uh, what you think of these or if you had different uh, questions, their questions, different answers uh, you would have used for these prompts. Make sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Check the link in the description, like I mentioned earlier in the video, for the Wizardly Duo Discord. Uh, we're always talking about books. We do have that book deals channel as well, where we talk about when we find good deals on books, uh, as well as just so much other stuff in there as well. And of course, if you'd like to see more of my content, make sure to subscribe.